Luke's Timberboards extravaganza. Today we have a real treat for you. We have the bow board. So we started to dry lay all the boards thinking that we were doing something really wrong because they weren't matching up. I mean, we felt like we had to cut the boards shorter and shorter. But it turns out the starting board is like a seesaw. So I'm laying this flush on the ground in the living room and it's sitting up about five centimetres off the ground at each end. If I push here, I don't know if you can see that, look how far that is off the ground at the other end. Which means that the board's completely low. And if I do the same on the other side. So, to solve this problem, we're gonna get rid of this board, or not get rid of it, use it as a scrap piece and try and re-notch a new board for that space around the two posts. And hopefully it all goes well, and we'll be off and away. So we'll check all the boards now going forward, how straight they are, by just doing a quick check on the ground. Because we know that the um, floor is fairly level, um, and if the boards are bowed badly, we'll be able to tell. progress tonight it's a Monday night uh, we've been working on the well we started working on the floor thinking that we weren't going to use a drum sander because we were worried about some of the damage to the floors and that the drum sander would tear up too much of the timber but uh, we started orbital sanding and I've got an edge sander as well which we've been using um, and after taking some time to sand the main part of the floors tonight we decided that we would probably try and use the drum sander on Wednesday night so uh, the plan is to use the drum sander in the main part of the floors and continue with punching in nails because there's lots of nails up around the edges. Punch in those nails around the edges, get all, uh, the little palm sander and the, um, the edging sander and work all the edges and then use the drum sander in the middle of the bad floors. We're also going to use the drum sander in the um, old deck area. So maybe about 50% of the house will be used with the drum sander in the end, which is, which is pretty good. So that should save us a lot of time. So that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Uh, we're going to knock that out hopefully over the next few days uh, to be ready to start staining and sealing the floors by the weekend and early next week. So very exciting. We've also got the cheapie coming out this week, hopefully. Uh, the electrician and the plumber. So it's going to be a very big week at the house, but we're, we're getting there. guys how's it going welcome back to another day very exciting just picked up the floor sander from Bunnings <laughs> made it fit in the little barina here so uh, it was a bit of a struggle but we managed to squeeze it in so we're gonna go inside and sand the floors today which is really exciting uh, so we're hoping to get the bulk of the floors done um, yeah can't wait to see what they look like and hopefully we don't shred them <laughs> 